Miss Weatherell here, just going to help you with your properties of parallelograms. Alright, so if you remember, parallelograms, the two sides inside have to equal 180. So in this case, it would be 91 plus x equals 180. Subtract 91, I'm going to open up Desmos on another one, and so I get 180 minus 91, and this particular problem would be 89. So if you subtract 91 from 180, you get 89. So when we get down to something like 6 is very similar to the one in your quiz. So I take 102 plus 33, and this angle right here, plus 11x. So 102 plus 33 plus 11x plus 1, and they all have to equal 180. So then you start combining like terms. So this is 135 plus 1, 136 plus 11x equals 180. And we're going to subtract 136. So I'm going back to my calculator, Desmos, 180 minus 136, and I get 44. And then, of course, we divide by 11, so we get x equals 4. So continuing on, just com continue on with that same measure, um, setting them equal to 180. So that was very similar to the first problem that you had. There's also something you may see like this, so you need to identify the angle. We're finding measure angle STO. So to find STO, I would put my pencil on S, go to T, and then I guess that's a Q instead of O, sorry. Helps if I put my glasses on. So I'm finding this measure of this angle right here. So I'd have to add those both together. So let's see what I do now so far. I have 60 here. Okay, so I know that angle, this is angle, that angle there. So I know that 60 plus 10 plus 6x plus this angle here, remember these two angles right here and right here have to equal 180, plus 8x plus 12 equals 180. So it's just a matter of combining like terms now. So I get 14x, 60 plus 10 is 70, 70 plus 12 is 82. I'm going to subtract 82 from both sides. So 180 minus 82 gives me 98. Then I'm going to divide that. 98, I'm going to divide by the 14. So x equals, let me see, divided by 14. x equals 7. So x equals 7 but it's asking for the measure. So first I need to find, I'm going to get a different color here. First I need to find this measure here. So remember x is 7, so I'm going to take my, make it a little bit more clean. I'm going to take this measure here. I'm going to take my 10 plus 6x is 7. So I'm going to replace that with 7 plus 8x is 7 plus 12. So I'm just going to put that in Desmos. I'm going to put, um, as soon as I get it ready, I'm going to put 10 plus 6 times 7 is 42, plus 56, so 8 times 7 is 56, plus 12. So I get 120 when I do that. So then I need to think what corresponds with each other. Remember, this angle and this angle, so they are equal. So that means that this angle is equal. So if this angle right here together equals 120, then this angle here has to equal 120. So that is a little bit. And one more thing on this I wanted to just show you. So if all that's true, let me see one that's not so busy. Um, all right, I'm going to do it on this one so you can see it. Um, so say I have a 
line right here. Okay, we've got a division right here. And it's telling me that maybe this angle here, and I'm just making this one up, so just I'm just trying to show you a correspondence. So if this angle here is 36 degrees, the opposite, the alternate interior, this has to be 36. And whatever that would be would have to equal that. So remember, alternate interior angles are corresponding. So this is getting long, so this is the parallel one. I'm going to go, to go ahead and do another one with the quadratics and kites in just a second.